Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech 5 Production. Now for the past few weeks or so, we've been going along with a few nice budget options for PC builds out there. From well-priced PC casing to great motherboard that punches well above their price range. Let's continue that with PC storages with a look at this NVMe SSD. Today we'll be having a look at the Hicksemi's future line of SSD. Hicksemi, well, I'm sure a lot of our viewers out there aren't actually really familiar with this brand. Hicksemi is actually a subsidiary brand of Hikvision, which are quite known for their storages in surveillance technology. Hikvision has actually been in the market for quite some time now, since 2001 actually, and they're quite popular in China. And today, we'll be checking out their future 1TB NVMe SSDs. Beginning with its price, with a claim speed of up to 7450 MB per second written at the bottom left of its box, how much do you think this NVMe SSD will cost? 550 ringgit? 500 ringgit? No. 400 ringgit? Closer, but no. It's priced at only 349 ringgit. Now the future 1TB NVMe SSD runs on PCIe Gen 4x4 and uses TLC NAND and has a claim speed of up to 7450 MB per second read and 6600 MB per second write. Of course, we'll be putting this number to its paces at our benchmark later to see if it's able to achieve such speed. When we open up the future NVMe SSD, you get the SSD itself and surprisingly, it also comes with a screwdriver and M.2 screw set, which I didn't expect for an NVMe at its price class. So, nice touch there, Hicksemi. It'll surely be, make someone's build out there a lot easier. Now, in terms of size, it uses the standard M.2 2280 size, so you should be able to fit it into most of the current motherboard that's out there in the market. In terms of look, there's not really much to say here. It has a simple sticker pasted on top of its controller and 3D NAND flash, which also acts as its heat sink, which you can see later. And at the back, we'll see a sticker showing its product name. And that's about it, because if you remove it, it says it'll void its warranty. Let's run the future 1TB NVMe SSD through some benchmark and let's see if the claim speeds are real and does its temperature hold up under load. But before that, here are our test configuration. We'll be running it through a B550 motherboard through the Gen 4 slot to get the best result. Let's go! So right off the bat, we can see the future perform greatly at Crystal Disk Mark easily able to score almost identically to its proclaimed sequential read speed and actually outperforming its claim write speed that's stated on its website. Great! In 3 d Mark storage benchmark, the future scored well too, being over about 1,000 over points over the average set by 3 d Mark and overall just having a great average bandwidth speed similar to its random read speed score from Crystal Disk Mark. In our own file transfer test, we transferred the entire file of GTA 5, which is about the size of 109GB at the time of recording. The time required for the transfer of the entire game file only took about 1 minute and 13 seconds, which is pretty impressive. One more thing we'd like to add from our side too is the temperature of the future NVMe, which is here. Normally a point of concern for Gen 4 NVMe SSD, especially one that can go as high speed as this. But to our surprise, the future performed greatly in this department too. Checking its temp through hardware monitor, we found its temperature only hovered around the 45 degree mark after three runs of Crystal Disk Mark. So thumbs up from us there. Very chilled temperature. Besides its performance, we found out that the Hick Semi also has one more thing going for it, and that is its compatibility to PS5 allowing you to add more storage to your PS5 easily through its NVMe expansion slot. For our 1TB model, the TBW, or basically how much data you can write on the SSD before it starts to fail, is at 1800TB, which is quite a lot, 
with a MTBF time of around 2 million hours. Of course, Hick Semi Future is also backed with a 5-year warranty. So you can feel confident of putting your data in here. Now, there is one small nitpick that I'd like to point out on the Future NVMe, which is the sticker or heatsink in this case for its orientation is oriented to the left insertion of motherboards. Whereas most motherboard in the market nowadays are actually on the right insertion for the NVMe SSD. But I guess most motherboard these days also comes with a NVMe heatsink, so you really won't be able to see it there. But I just thought it's something I'd like to point out on. Now, who do we think the future NVMe is suitable for? With its competitive pricing and strong overall performance, I think it'll serve a lot of content creators out there nicely allowing them to get good file transfer performance, especially when it comes to video editors. Also, with such an easy-to-recommend price, I'm sure even the gamers out there uh, that are looking to build their own PCs or upgrade their existing storage will find good value in the Hick Semi Future NVMe SSDs. And if the only thing that's kind of steering you away from this NVMe SSD would be its brand, and it's mainly operated from China, the brand, I think you'll be missing out on an NVMe SSD that's really good in performance and great in value. That's all for our review on the Hick Semi Future 1TB NVMe SSD. Did you find this video helpful? If you did, remember to share it to all your friends and family about this video, and give it a like if you like it, and dislike it if you dislike it. And subscribe to us for more review on PC component related videos. See you guys later. Bye-bye.